Hello YouTube, it's your boy J-Man back at you. It's been about, it's been a long time since I've sat down and I've made a kind of video like this, you know, like an old classic sit down podcast style. Um, so much has happened to me over the last year. Because when I first founded my channel, I was just posting random Supercon things, you know, like clips of uh, things that happened at the convention and stuff, but then it grew to more it kind of took on the personality of wherever I was currently in my life. So when I had just come in and I had joined AmeriCorps, which is what the foundation of my channel is, it's on anime reviews, cartoon reviews, uh, AmeriCorps and semi vlogs. Like I don't want the military to become everything, but it's becoming a portion of it now. But the point of what I'm saying is that so much has happened. I've joined AmeriCorps, did two years, COVID happened in the middle of that and then joined the military and I've been in one year now. And now it's officially been one year since I joined the Air Force. And I can honestly say that it's been the scariest time of my life, but also the most rewarding. Like to be serving and giving back to your country is a good feeling. But then when you accomplish your dreams, you know, you have to deal with the pain and the fear of losing that dream. Like always having that dangling over your head, not wanting to mess up, not wanting to do a bad job, wanting to bring honor not just your family but to your branch of service like damn it's been so much stuff's happened i've met a lot of new friends a lot of new people a lot of experiences i've had to lose things gain things i've had to relearn things like i've had to learn new things about myself you know i basically pushed myself to my mental and physical limits in terms of just sheer endurance and problem solving my advice to myself a year ago to now would be you should have saved up money. You should have saved up way more money before you actually joined. Because a lot of people who follow my channel regularly know that when I was in AmeriCorps, I was also between joining the military and between finishing my service, uh, I was able to get hired by FEMA as a part-time reservist. And... You know, FEMA, they deploy, you know, they get sent out and they uh, do missions where they help out with disaster areas. I really wish I had done a FEMA deployment prior to joining the military because they pay pretty damn well. It's like 24 an hour. So I would have saved up uh, quite the penny, everyone, instead of just going in kind of poor. That's a huge regret. But like outside of that, I think even though there's a lot of people here I don't like, and I met a lot of people that I strongly hate. I also met a good smaller, it's a smaller portion, but I met like solid friends that I consider my brothers. Um, military life, especially Air Force life, is not the same as Army or Marine life. It's way different. I'd say uh, living conditions wise, it's pretty good. I got my own room, my own bed, no roommates, um, fridge, Wi-Fi, like it's 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 not I'm not living in squalor, you know, it's it's basically an apartment complex. Um aside from that, um I'd say that I'm getting the experience in law enforcement that I always needed. That kind of backdrop to combat, being a warrior. Hopefully that whenever this is said and done, I can take that back with me to the civilian side and acquire a job as a police officer or a federal officer and or local PD, I'm honestly more geared towards local PD, right? Because I feel like in order to work better at a local level, I need to have a at least a basic understanding of what it's like on this larger federal level. Because if I can handle this, I can handle anything smaller. Um, another thing I got here to say is uh, other ways I think the Air Force has changed me. Man, that's a tough one. Um, I would say that the Air Force has just made me more cognizant of small mistakes and attention to details, like little details, like little errors bother me because in my head I feel like if I don't fix this, this little detail is going to come back to bite me in the ass at some point. Whether it could get me hurt or get me in trouble, like it's just better to just take a break, fix it now and stop it right now instead of letting it continue later. That's a huge thing. And I've applied that not just to work, but like relationships, friendships, anything like if someone bothers me or frustrates me, I say it right there in the moment and I um, deal with it right then and there. Regard the consequences be damned and 
to some people they'd say that's a con but to me i don't i don't care it just made me more direct with stuff and another thing i would say is that like um i've become a little more detached like i would say that i don't invest myself into people as much now i just feel more like not reserved but i talk less i'm more pulled back i i don't trust anyone that's not like family like if they're not family and i wasn't friends with them before the military like post-military friendships for me are just different at least for right now because it's like i feel like they're outside the circle like i feel like my real personality is like closed off in a box and um if you weren't already in that box before i joined whatever personality you're getting now is this weird amalgamation of military j-man and personal life j-man you know it's not it's weird it's like this weird combo mix so that's why it's like weird for me to form friendships now like as weird as it seems um one of the team members on my last americorps team not my last one but my first one in traditional corps he uh he joined the air force with me and we were actually hanging out because we were going through the same training the same tech school for the same job together so that was great it was amazing seeing him again and when i saw him it really just screamed to me the difference in like connection between pre-military friendships and post-military friendships like and especially an americorps friendship like it's that's like as thick as blood to be honest he's my family um yeah that's it's definitely been quite a ride and let me see what i got the hardest part i would have to say so far about boot camp for me was the first day the first day was rough like i man i, I still remember getting yelled at cussed out screamed you know and having to just deal with all of that culture shock would not recommend it. and i wish i had done some like pre-military program so i would at least have a feel for what it's like to be treated like that but if i could do it over again i would have done it from when i was younger i feel like if i had joined when i was much much younger i'd get more out of this but because i'm much older than everyone it's like i'm held to a higher standard but i'm still being treated the same they expect more from me but treat me the same as they would an 18 year old which is like the worst of both worlds but you know it's not all bad um because i look younger i was able to hide my age for a while so you know it, that, that kind of helped but if to anyone who's trying to join the armed forces i would heavily recommend like um preparing beforehand way more like mentally and emotionally than i did i just spent my time just like playing video games and working out you gotta train your brain too you know get your emotions right so that nothing can break your core because there were quite a bit of moments where my core was not broken but it was like being cracked you know um i'd say the best part about bmt was just the sundays the days off because it's like you appreciate your day off so much more when you're being like torn down all the time it just feels like the one day you get to release and relax you know and kind of enjoy yourself that was definitely a great experience um and how long do i intend to be in the military for i, I i'm just doing my four years coming out and then I'm going to switch to National Guard or something. I think I want to keep the military as part of my normal life because I think, like, the training is pretty damn good. And you can't really get that training in a lot of other job fields, especially in what I want to go into, which is, like, law enforcement. But if certain factors aren't met and I can't get that law enforcement federal job that I want, then I'm going to just leave the military and leave law enforcement and just either work for FEMA or be, like, a lawyer or something. I don't know. I'm figuring out as I go along, but I'm not doing 20. I'm not doing six. It's straight up just my four, and then I'm done. Fuck it. Um, I just wanted to say to everyone who's been following the channel now for a while, thanks for the support. Thank you for being there. Thanks for supporting me and watching my videos. I know I've been kind of lazy with uploading, but that's just because a lot's been going on. There's been a lot of life changes, and... I feel like I've earned the right to slack off a little bit, but I will definitely be coming back with more videos as soon as I can. Thanks for the support. And um, there are definitely going to be some changes to the channel. I'm trying to come up with a new banner. I'm trying to come up with a new channel logo. Maybe I'll start doing some discussion videos, but um, my channel is going to start shifting a little bit more from just uh, Steven Universe, which is what it was originally created for, to just lifestyles, things in general. So thanks, everyone. Appreciate it. Goodbye.